Hey guys, Miss Johnson here, back with you guys talking about time. This is our part three video of time. So far, up until now, we have talked about our analog clock, and we've learned that we have a shorthand that is the hour hand, and we always read this one first, and our minute hand that is the long hand that we read after the shorthand. We've talked about how when our minute hand is on the 12, we call it o'clock and we talked about when our hour hand is on a number we read it but also we talked about what will happen if our hour hand is stuck between two numbers and remember you only read the number it passed last if it did not touch the number or it passed the number we do not say that number so right now if i'm looking at these two it would be five the number would be five that I would read. So up until now, we've only talked about those things and telling time to the hour. Now, today, we are going to talk about time to the hour, but with our digital clocks. So as I mentioned in my first video, you'll see a digital clock on your parents' phone, like Miss Johnson's. If I show you my phone, If I cover that up, this says 940. So that's a digital clock. You'll see them on your um, kitchen stove, in your car. Those are different things and different ways that you see digital clocks. And I'll actually be posting some videos now. And in those videos, you should have seen different forms of digital clocks. Now I have my handy whiteboard again, and here I have drawn different times on my digital clock. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the number that is here on the digital clock, I wrote a big one right here, it says seven. That one is our hour. Just like our hour hand, our baby hand, this is gonna be our hour. Then we have our two dots, and then our numbers that come after it are our minutes. So this side is our hour, and this one is how many minutes there are. Now, today we're just working on time to the hour with our analog clock, so that's why all of these have zeros after it. If you remember my phone, it has different numbers after. So my hour on my phone is nine and my minutes say 42. But for today, we're just gonna worry about what will happen if we have two zeros after our two dots here. Now remember with our analog clock, whenever our big hand is touching the 12, we would say o'clock. For our digital clocks, whenever you see two zeros after our dots, you are gonna say o'clock. So this time here is seven. Our time right here, it says seven o'clock. I read my hour number first, which is before the dots, and then I know since there's a double zero, I'm saying o'clock. So if I look at my four examples, examples here, the first example says three, o'clock. The next one says six o'clock. Can you guess what this says? 12 o'clock. You said 12 o'clock? Good job. And the next one is eight o'clock. So that is our example. It's real easy, super easy to remember. That is our examples of, of the analog clock to the hour. So just to real quick, remember the first number is our hour. The second number is our minute. Whenever we see a double zero, we're going to say o'clock. So what you're gonna do today is you are not going to do splash math. You are actually going to complete this worksheet from our math workbook. We're used to seeing these, okay? And I'm going to add a picture 
to our um, class dojo and your teacher will as well if you're if you're not in my class you will receive this as well and it's going to just be of our analog clock which we already know how to read now and if you forget go back to my other videos and that will help you remember how to read our analog clock and you're just going to be practicing writing it into our digital clock. So remember our hour, our number that we read first goes first. And then after the dot, you would put your double zero to represent o'clock. All right, guys, super simple, super easy. Submit your, um, your answers on, write it on a piece of paper and submit it to your teacher like that. And you're good to go. I'll see you tomorrow for our part four video of time. Bye.